Hello, Star Wars Galaxy of Hero players, and Atesh Ordo here. Today, I have Lord Bane on. Say hello. Howdy. <laughs> How is everyone? <laughs> Hopefully good, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> we're, we're going to be doing a collab. I've already We've already done part one on his channel, uh, but we're going to be talking about, and we talked about topics of characters that we would like to see reworked. I talked about the ones you see on screen. We both talked about Darth Maul, and we talked about Gar Saxon, Darth Nihilus, Scion, Cheered and Bays on my side, and then his was also Tarkin and Krennic, because he only did those three. Cause I, <laughs> but I, I wanted to do some extras, because obviously we already knew Darth Maul was a common topic. So, but today yeah. we're on uh, my channel. We're going to talk about three underrated characters, and then three characters we'd like to see come to the game. Granted, I'm sure those lists are obviously bigger, but we're going to try to be, you know, keep it short and sweet as best as we can. Yeah. The last yeah. one will be, you know, quite a while. So, but let's go we'll ahead try. and get to it. So, since you're the guest, I'll let you go first. Which underrated character would you like to share? Uh, you know, I gotta do it. I'm pulling out IC right now. I'm. F I gotta do it. It's gonna be oh, Imperial Super boy. Commando. It's gotta be. I the amount of GAC battles and guys, I'm just g gotta have to let you know this is not my main account. This is my alternate account. So if it was, mine is Relic Seven. I do invest in them. So don't yeah. worry. Don't 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 punish me for it. But um. Well, I see. Right now, gonna... it's showing mine. Just keep in mind, I'm only seeing mine oh, yeah. and your face. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, go, go um, on. I think I see and Gar. I'm, I'm doing like what you did last video, but those two characters, especially, are one of the most underrated characters. I've, uh, ever since the rework, uh, I see you got. Even since then, the, the amount of uh, players I verse in GAC, are, it probably is similar to you, Endertesh, but. I see people all the time with these two just sitting at, like, what it is right now, you know. Almost seven stars, gear one, no investment whatsoever. I, Little, I think yeah. this kind of, yeah. Little to this know. Kind I, of I, yeah, I've been, yeah. every time I face someone, I always go look and see. I like to go look at their Wampa because I like to see if I can bait their Womp out with Hayden. But then I also like to look at some various other characters, Hondo, these, and, it, you know, I see in Gar sometimes I look and I'm like, you're not, I could put Java and you won't beat it with Thrawn. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, or, yeah. Or they'll have it's, a relic, but they're is... modded horribly. That's the other thing. Yeah. Yeah, but, it requires specific modding to get them right. But it, even so, they if you just put enough tenacity on them, you can two-man gas. And a lot of people already know about this. And if you're able to get more banners against gas, like, that's such a big win for me. Like, C CLS oh, yeah. is a good counter that's been around for... D donkey's years but uh bat banner efficiency wise it's not the best mm -hmm. but like you're able to do so much with these guys and these guys are way back before even Kyra Tech came out they only require i think 100 for the finisher on gear 12 they're such a cheap character to get up oh, and yeah. a lot of people just don't just forget about them but they are such good characters Oh yeah, once ISC's rework happened, I was kind of already working on Relic em up slowly for mm. uh, extra Mandalorians to have because I wanted all the Mandalorians to be relic at the time. Yeah. But once that rework happened and I saw people were beating it with gas, I'm like, I mainly focused on those and then I focused on high tenacity. Uh, mm. At least, like, I, I, I believe for a while I was top in GAC for... Highest Imperial Super Commando tenacity, but then you decide to go yeah. along and be like, "I'm gonna beat it." Yeah, it was. It, that was just for uh, annoyance, honestly. I, I, uh, <laughs> bother, I was like, I just, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I just want to be a one up, one up. No, no, it's all good though. But it's what's so good about this rework, and it's been out for ages now. But this is what enables Maul to beat JMK. Like, this is what makes the Mordalorian, the dark side Mordalorians, what it is today. It's all because of IC and Gar. And I just, I just think a lot of people are going to have, especially nowadays, they're going to have more before they unlock Lord Vader. And Maul's best team is the dark side Mandalorians. I think you'd be a fool if you didn't upgrade these guys because they, requ they require literally nothing. No Zetas, no Omicrons. Like, the, what else can you want from a character? Yeah, yeah. Maul, Maul's best team is, like you said, Dark Side Mandalorians. However, 
Maul's uh, best supporting role is unfortunately Lord Vader. So he's like, yeah, pulled around. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. But guys, I I, I really think I C and Gar should be on your list to farm. Like they're not required for anything. They do have that the the shuttle uh, as their ship, so that's probably the only thing you'd want to get it up for. But um, I, I know you got to be careful. There is apparently a, a profundity counter out there with uh, Tarkin. That requires, uh, I think, Relic 5 or something for these guys. If you go any higher, the speed gets too fast on the gauntlet, and I think it messes us up, as I've heard. Yeah, that I have no clue, because I'm sure... Uh, yeah. the tar- you said the Tarkin one. I'm sure it in- includes the Scythe, which I'm close to unlocking yeah. that, but I'm far from unlocking uh, Grand Inquisitor. <laughs> mm. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of people are like that, aren't they? It's kind of weird. Being, you're unlocking the ship, a conquest ship, before a uh, legendary unit. Yeah, but yeah, that that's that's pretty much my first character of what uh, is going to be underrated. I think these guys are underused for what their power potential is. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess I'll go into my first one, and it's actually the first neutral character being Hondo. Now, I know I'm still testing personally, but there have been some videos out there that depict him beating some CLS teams and whatnot. Because as long as... Because the thing with Hondo is a lot of the times you want his teammates to die. And then he goes in and pretty much one man's the rest of the team. Uh, so, mm-hmm. so people throw their like gear one... Or no, probably not gear one, but like gear eight, nine... Um, Kira lead and a few others. I know I do plan on doing a video on what leads I'm thinking that would work with Hondo. Uh, I have seen a counter. I forget what it was countering, but um, I think it was King Bob, the YouTuber that did Darth Revan, Fallen Bastila and Hondo. It was a three V five team or something. And I was like, Mm. "Hmm, that's interesting to try out because you do get the option to, (laughs) <laughs> call in an assist with like Darth Revan or something once Darth Revan's death mark procs on the enemy lead. So mm. there is that because he he's a he's a plug That's and play. Interesting. Yeah, he's a plug yeah. and play. Yes, you gotta be careful where he doesn't kill himself off, but mm. he is still a worthwhile plug and play. It's not like Watt Tambor level plug and play. But he's still up there. I, I actually once I first got him, I actually before Thrawn before me and Bane started playing around with Thrawn a few months back, I actually, in TW, anytime I faced a Padme team that had Cat on it, I'd go Sith Triumvirant, Thrawn, and Hondo. And I'd have three characters locking down three other characters, and I made, it turned it into like almost a 2.5 V5. <laughs> so that was... That, Brutal. That, yeah, it's it's brutal. You shutting down. It's like a mini fracture with the uh, captive. Yeah. Plus, he stacks up his um his stats uh, as as he gets more uh, what's it uh, ransoms. So yeah, he's he's really cool, and I feel like there's a lot more potential for him. And we, I'm sure, we're still scratching the surface because. We never know if they decide to add some weird, unique lead that would make Hondo like tenfold tougher than before because mm-hmm. they boost smugglers or something. Maybe they bring out, um, oh, what's that one guy from Solo? Uh, Hans, uh, Beckett, Beckett. Be- yeah, Beckett, Beckett. Gosh, <laughs> the actual yeah. pirate, it's a similar, yeah. I think it's a common pirate name is Beckett or something, but yeah, uh, yeah, oh, he's a f- good character. I wish he was in the game, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sure there's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot we can wish for. Oh, it's heaps, um, heaps. But anyways, yeah. We'll talk about that later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe, uh, but yeah, Hondo, maybe Beckett would lead him and you could probably uh, actually keep a team around because there's been some battles I've actually decided to go in, use Hondo just to help shut down a couple of characters and I finish the battle with the full team alive. So you mm. could save banners in GAC. So, yeah, he, I, he is a great character. I, I'm one of those people that don't use him. I underrate him. Uh, I think what I do like to see, I know, I think Zareth Prevails does it quite a bit, but Dash lead with uh, Hondo. Uh, uh, I like the fact that you can call uh, 
Dash for the assist, he does a basic then because Dash calls everyone to assist on his basic if they have prepared. I think that's a cool combo that, that happens quite Ooh. often. What's another cool combo that you uh, I know you probably saw with uh, the Thrawn sitting there using Thrawn's basic and then ISC's little dispel, which yeah. is a flexibility block. You could kind of do that similar scenario with the Sith Triumvirate with Thrawn. And I, I've noticed mm. that and it was fun. So you fracture, Thrawn does his basic on someone, speed up, and then you use Hondo to call Nihilus to assist to dispel that speed up and now their ability blocked. Mm. Yeah. That is a good point. Yeah. Yeah. This I, could, honestly, yeah. Yeah. Call, this calling anyone to assist, it says target ally, which is beautiful because mm. you can actually, I'm sure there's a way to do it, but I'm sure you could just call, throw him under um, Dr. Afro. Too bad he couldn't like convert to dark side or light. That's one thing I will say they need to yeah. work with. Yeah. Um, but if he was to call BT one in and do that massive damage, and then he goes in and does his little AOE to everyone, you could just mm. sit there and just call him to assist. Cause I've also been thinking about doing the, uh, thinking about just to test it out, gearing up IG 86 with that call to assist to see if I can cool. get that because IG 86 boosts that crit, that damage by 75% crit damage or something. Mm. So yeah, that's a, uh... That's an investment right there, IG-86. Woo! <laughs> I know. Like, hey, have my gear 12, because he's an easy gear 12 once you've done the raids, yeah. the newest raids enough time. Oh, well, let's see. It's the... Yeah, if the assisting ally is droid. Both attackers have additional 75% crit damage. Mm. But it's, it's yeah. a random, unfortunately, not a, oh, you choose. <laughs> but, yeah, with Hondo, yeah, you get that choice. So yeah, I, I I do I do like Hondo I, even as a character. Like in Clone Wars, he's one of my favorite characters. Where uh, oh yeah, you know General Grievous and um, when the uh, Maul and Savage were on their planet. One of my few favorite episodes in the Clone Wars was uh, all about Hondo. I, I as a character, he's one of my favorite yeah. favorites. Granted, this is after Return of the Jedi level Hondo. I I hope they kind of do a reverse journey for him to where he's yeah. telling stories and then he talks about first he was you know working with rebels and you see him fighting with the phoenix and they bring in other phoenix members to help you know tell that story like the phoenix the other phoenix droid chopper's buddy or um maybe the other clone veterans of gregor and wolf or something but then you get them to be required <laughs> all three clones there be required to unlock hondo as the mm. veteran smuggler hondo and then they can actually have the pirate king hondo from clone wars where that's the pirate that's the that's the one that would actually pilot his ship and work with cargo ships smugglers and scoundrels yeah that would be i, I yeah <laughs> I'm on a similar similar thought process there. I when he was like first announced, I was like, oh yeah, they're bringing out the Clone Wars one. And I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit upset when they brought out the. Uh, it's like a live action or, or Rebels kind of. It wasn't even Rebels. What, what what's the character model based off? I it's the um uh, that uh, ride from Disney World or Disneyland or both. Um, stars. I can't remember. I've never been there. Never have the yeah. I've had the money to go there. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I can't go to another country. You joking? But yeah, it's well, yeah, um yeah, that makes sense for you and me. I'm yeah. I'm in the country, just <laughs> yeah, still too expensive. It's yeah, I well personally because I didn't even know where this character model of Hondo came from. I didn't realize it even came from a theme park, but I I thought it was. I don't know. I would have rather the I, Clone Wars one because that's where everyone knows Hondo from. I, I, what do you think? I've, that's what I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Clone Wars and then Rebels when he showed up in Rebels. Yeah, talking to Ezra to be a pirate Jedi. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you pay for your uh, transport. <laughs> Maybe they should have yeah, a, so a different look for Ezra and make him literally, uh, if they ever bring the pirate faction in, pirate Jedi. <laughs> mm, mm. Well, yeah, not, yeah, hey, go. just r random subject, but what would be a good thing to add to this game is skins. Like, you could have your characters, but you could change a skin on them. But 
I know CG looks at it at the fact they could be a whole new, new character and they can charge like 300 bucks for a marquee character. But like, if people don't want to use, like, I know for myself, if we had the option to change this Hondo skin to a Clone Wars one, I'd do it in a heartbeat. And there's a lot of characters out there that I do the oh, same yeah. thing. Like, um, like even like if we had Darth Vader, battle damaged Darth Vader, man, <laughs> I'd slap that on. Or straight battle away. damage Grievous, like they did in the yeah Battle yeah. Front Two game, yeah. Yeah, 100%. But, yeah, that's a totally different subject that we can talk about. Uh, <laughs> another video. <laughs> another yeah. day. Yeah, another day. All right. So what's your next underrated? Um, I'm kind of sticking to a theme here of stuff that I do on my channel, but it's going to have to be the stench himself, Admiral Trench. Um, He's oh, one actually, of. I thought you were going to say input something imperial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, well, just wait till I go to my third one. But um, <laughs> my hologram uh, form of trench. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There, I, I'm the same with alt. But uh, yeah, guys, I think I don't know. Maybe it's just a lot of. I think it's just a lot of blasphemy from uh, a lot of the bigger content creators. I, I think we all know yeah, Ar Arnold yeah. has a pet. Arnold has a really big pet hate against trench and. And Lord Vader. Like to be and Lord Vader. But to be honest, those two characters do have their uses. They're not utter garbage. And I just feel like a lot of people, because Arnold is so popular, I'm not dissing Arnold in any way, but Arnold is such a big content creator and a lot of people view him and when they hear his opinion, they believe it to be, you know, the solid truth. But Oh yeah. Even my so in, I had, I was telling you before I think it was off camera that I had a friend that left for a while, came back and all that. He actually doesn't agree with everything Arnold does. And honestly, yeah. it's kind of true because if you think about it, he recently did a live stream with um, trying to counter the Gungans. The Jungans? I was <laughs> the Gungans. <laughs> yeah. The Jungans. Yeah. I was thinking, trying to say Jar Jar, <laughs> but the Gungans with Jar Jar. And he tried, uh, people were suggesting in the comments for a while even I was in there sitting there suggesting it to try Thrawn lead and a few others. But then again, I didn't think about where his mods would be on those characters. Mm. Um, and he kind of had something going with the mall lead mall, dark side Mandalorians with, um, what was that mag magma trooper, but then yep. went into, uh, try the Thrawn lead fell too flat and just said, screw it. I'm done going on to the next one where you, you sit there and actually on your channel, which you guys should check it out. You actually beat the Gungan team and squad arena mm. with Thrawn. Yeah. I just yeah. I was lucky enough to find some, uh, Gungan team so I can test it out too. <laughs> just... Yeah. Yeah. I, I just, I, I get it. It's a, I think part of live streaming as well is you have a lot of pressure on yourself just to show as much content as you can, especially when you're testing against a team and yeah. you just want to get, you've only got so many attempts and that's CG's fault there for making it only 20 attempts. And I don't know why it's like that, but it's just the way it is. But I, really I understand the fact. Attempts? Yeah, that's what it is. And you got to pay crystals for every refresh. It's, I don't understand why, because Squad Arena is such a dead game yeah. mode i don't i don't know why they continue like if they to want to still make it crystal costs on it drop it to 15 or something and then up it to like 500 attempts or something just so we can test things out mm. yeah Come on. but it's it's the perfect ground for like sandbox or anything like that just just to test yeah. against maybe even your own characters like maybe set the enemy team down with your own characters and then use your own characters to fight it off you know what i mean yeah, but um, anyway, talking about Arnold's stream about like that Thrawn team for a second, I I was watching live and I saw a lot of you guys uh, talking about Thrawn team as well. Even I, I was in there trying to get his attention. But the problem is, is you can only the Thrawn team especially requires very specific modding, and you need to know how to use it. And because it was his first time against. A Gungan team. I understand. He didn't. He had Magma Trooper in there, which was, honestly wasn't the best fifth. He, he he shot him at himself in the foot when he was using the team, and then he, like kind of overlooked it, and then just you know moved on to the next thing. But uh, a lot of a lot of testing into new characters. You, you got to use 
you got to find the right team, the right modding, and then be able to find the right counters that it can it can be. And as you as, as you saw, I was able to beat Gungans uh, with Thrawn quite quite easily with uh, great banners, and and that's yet to be proven in GAC. I understand that, but um, you can only do so much with Squad Arena nowadays. Yeah. And I I feel like a trench is in the same book here with like the Thrawn team with Arnold, where he's. He uh, Arnold did his few tests with Trench, and he wasn't performing um, to what uh, Conquest characters were back then, which was I think what was released before Trench, like Cat and Maul. It was Cat Maul. Then I know it's uh, not counting ships. Sign of Django, mm. which Sign of Django yeah. kind of fell flat. That one's a hard one to even probably get yeah. tested. I, he he just needs a buff. Um, yeah. And then I think Malgus was also before him too. Yeah, I, so that's Malgus long before Trench. So yeah, mm. there's a lot of conquest characters that came before Trench that I I do agree in definitely in definitely in their specific game modes do really outperform Trench, especially on the defensive side. Like you can't really compare Malgus to Trench because Malgus is so so solid on defense. Where Trench is, you can beat Trench quite easily. Trench is an offensive team. And yeah. Sith Empire are already such a so- strong faction, and and Maul and Cat belong with GL. So Trench is just one of those characters where, and people don't want to devote all the characters to him. That's just another thing. I, I briefly talked about it in my uh, Mandalorian issues, but if people want to use their Maldalorian team, they got to use Django. But uh, one thing with the Trench team is you've got to have every single piece that uh of the of the separatist puzzle you know you yeah. can't make a viable trench team without what you can't make a viable trench team without Django. it's just you you're in a sense holding one of his arms behind his back if you take one of those uh characters out of his team but like i i've played quite a lot with trench and he's got a good data con on at the moment but you're able to make him do some pretty cool stuff even without his territorial omicrons like i I can beat ray and jubbers um i've been able to beat bex with uh trench before he's just one of those characters that i think a lot of people hear a lot of garbage about him and then just go and focus um their attention elsewhere yeah but but uh you you don't have trench yet do you no so i don't really have experience with him other than looking at him though let me move your face here one thing that I find unique is they actually chose to build his kit similar to Cat with only four abilities. Cat mm. is ba- if I remember right, hers is basic, special, special, unique, or Trench is yep. basic, special, lead, unique. They didn't give him like uh, two uniques or an extra special to really make him shine more. Which, yep. yeah, they kind of they kind of ner- nerfed him when creating him. In my opinion, yeah. and that's why I can also see where he can be considered underrated, or I mean, just not on par with other characters. Like even the thing, the sad thing is, is Boba Sina Django. He has like not counting the payout ability because that one's yeah, that one's always on a bounty hunter. Uh, let's yeah. uh, get to mine. He has <laughs> basic, special, special, lead, and unique, and then of course the mm. payout. So he has a yeah. lot more firepower under his belt and mm. i'm sure you can get trench to work in a lot of other game modes than boba Sina Django. yeah Will i eventually maybe test him out a little bit yeah probably just in tw <laughs> mm. the, the the best thing i've been able to use sign of Django for is in territory wars against uh lord vader's i yeah i use his lead instead of fennix and it's more reliable honestly to use bobas um yeah. But to be honest, I, I can't tell you why. I haven't looked into his kit. I've just gotten his lead Omicron, and Same. I just do the Bounty Hunter counter, and it just works. So um, yeah. maybe someone someone else knows his kit more than I do, And but otherwise, I just can't get him to work anywhere else. He's just one of those characters, yeah. I think. Like, his lead in TW is a good lead for Hondo, what we were talking about earlier. <laughs> oh, really? Like mastery and stuff, yeah. I'm sure you could get, at least do some fun things with Hondo under him. Keep the mm. team alive, and yeah, but yeah. Aside from that, though, yeah. Yeah, Trench, he seems like he has some promise with what you've been showing on your channel. 
So I will ch try them out, look at your, the mod setup that you have. I haven't really looked at the videos with the, your mod setups too much mm. because I don't have yes. a team, so I'm not going to really push for it. Plus, I've yeah. been thinking of remodding Django anyways to kind of work with um, Maul of Mandalorians better so that he can stay taunting more because I want him to take the yeah. hit if I'm facing Cat under yeah. Kenobi. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's one of those teams that require uh, an expensive character, Wat Tambor. A lot of people use Wat in, like, for Sith Eternal to make him what he is, but it requires good mods, and I mean, like, your best best mods, especially on Dooku. Having Dooku really fast helps the team out so much, but it yeah. requires lots of investment, good relics, and I think a lot of people look at that and see, I don't really want to do that for and good practice, this too. kind of character. Yeah, Which yeah, you gotta be, know what you're doing. Yeah, especially with the character that I'm about to talk about, uh, my second pick of underrated, and that is the blue boy himself, Grand Admiral Thrawn. He oh, really? Fallen. I've got the same one. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're both oh, just gonna talk about that one, and then so that's yeah, your, sure. That was your second. Yeah, that's your second. That, right, so that's or, or is that your third? Yeah, sorry, sorry. Thrawn is my last one, but yeah, go go ahead. Go well, ahead. I guess we'll just knock that one out and bounce around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cool. I guess cool. we'll save us right. some time. I want to too. see um, I want to hear your thoughts. So Thrawn, like for the longest time, he was a great character. What he was literally to back in the day tied with top plug and play character with Watt. Sometimes you would say Watt would be better, sometimes you'd say Thrawn would be better. Until they nerfed his fracture, which yeah. kind of sucks. However, mm. I wish they would have nerfed it and kind of kept part of it in a way to where he could still fracture Galactic Legends under Lord Vader. But then that would make Lord okay. Vader better because he's cut such an expensive Galactic Legend and they've nerfed so many characters countering Lord Vader, like Treya Omicron, mm. <laughs> that why not buff Fracture to counter GLs? But aside from that, like he still fractures everything else. Like, well, he'll still fracture yeah. Galactic Legend, but it's not shutting the Galactic Legend down. It's just, no, you know, minus 50% speed and can't gain buffs and reduced counter chance. It's like, okay, that's about it. But aside from yeah. that, though, he's he's not used much. Like, I, I do see some Lord, him on defense with Lord Vader to prevent the, uh, what is it, the Bounty Hunter sometimes? Because if you fracture yeah. down Fennec or whatever... Which I think it doesn't work very well under the TW under Scion and Jenga, but I don't know. I I don't yeah, <laughs> test it, but yeah. I, aside from that, I don't see a lot of people's Thrawns being gone after. Like for the longest time, people would talk about your first farm should be Phoenix, so you can go after Thrawn. But then for a long time after, you don't really hear that much about it. No. And I think you still you still got all these people that say don't go after Thrawn; he's useless. And I'm like. Then you, and then eventually me, get, then I caught on, and we both started playing around, testing it, and we got Thrawn to counter two GLs, being uh, Jabba the Hutt mostly, but then I've actually played around with them countering uh, Jedi Master Luke. Yeah. So, and, and it's just that, how his lead works. Yes, his lead could be touched up a little bit, because it's an older lead. A little mm. bit more protection would be helpful. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. And maybe some defense, but like his, he's just a legendary strategist. He's really good. And he recently got a reskin. He was recently yeah. in the um, Ahsoka show, which I'm sure he's going to be showing up in future Mando seasons and Mando movie and stuff like that as the new big bad villain. But like. Mm. And he doesn't really change appearance, so unless you count the uh, the tales of the uh, Empire, Empire, yeah, but that, that would brief. be a uh, weaker version of Thrawn, not a stronger version. But yeah. aside from that, you you I don't see him getting any better than what he's at. Unless, even though, yeah, it'd be kind of cool to see a Galactic Legend version. But what would you do? Just give him a cape just for the heck of it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or, or, style. or a crown, a crown. Yeah, <laughs> or or you take yeah. off his shirt and have him in his like training outfit while he was training against that those droids. Cool. There you go. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, but aside from <laughs> that's that, jail thrown. Yeah, yeah, that's jail thrown. Yeah. It's like training mode. It's like, let's go. I took my shirt yeah. off. I'm ready to brawl with you now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Uh, but yeah, no, it's still like once he got nerfed, it was kind of the downside for a lot of people using Thrawn. However, I still liked using him with uh, Sister Alvarant because it's just an extra control piece. And then, as I mentioned earlier, I started using with Hondo with him. Uh, mm. with him and Trey until I started using Thrawn on his own lead. So honestly, yeah. like <laughs> he's he's still great, and just people don't see it. And I I've always saw it because if mm. you can shut down a character, throw that uh, as a plug and play on a team, it can help. And then there's times of actually I don't remember what teams I've used, but like I've just thrown him under another team member and a few other team members and defeated it cleaned up a team because that fracture comes in so handy yeah it's um i i understand how the fracture nerf really got a lot of people upset but that's when galactic legends first came out and um it's i find it still useful it works on pretty much every character and if you're facing galactic legends the the 50 percent speed dis uh uh debuff you could say um it's still quite helpful like i i tend to in the java can i still tend to fracture java because that the less turns he takes is the better because he doesn't take that uh, ultimate uh as quick but i i totally agree he's one of those he's definitely one of those characters that people just farm up for the heck of it and then uh move on to the next thing but uh th yeah. thankfully uh people still put investment into him because he is a required unit for sith eternal and he's also got one of the most important fleets in the game at the moment. The only one that can uh, one-shot Leviathan at the moment. Well, well, off meta, I should say. Um, he's still an important character, but people don't invest in him the way, say, me and you do now. But yeah. I, I remember way back in the day, before I was thinking about the Thrawn lead, uh, I used to use Thrawn with uh, Treya before Treya had an Omicron to beat Gas. Like that, that, that fracture was so, so awesome that you could line it up in a sense where you could annihilate gas before he sat down for the first time. But yeah, now, nowadays you don't even need uh, Thrawn thanks to uh, Treya's Omicron and Savage and stuff like that. But yeah, yeah, I even used Thrawn with uh, Sith Empire back in the day just to counter other Sith Empire because I'd have. Because luckily, he was one of my first two characters. Him and Darth Revan were my first two characters to be um, about 320 speed. Mm. And I got to the point where any Darth Revan that I was uh, facing that didn't have um, Sith Empire Trooper, I would, and I outran with both Revan and Thrawn, I would sit there and fracture their Revan so they don't spread that fear. And I was able to counter that. Yeah. So easy that, win, eh? Yeah, that's that was yeah, amazing to do. Or you got He's a great that, you got that yeah. pass turn too if you needed to have someone else like take take out that auto taunt with Malik and then Malik yeah. would go yeah. The the great thing is similar to Hondo, the call to assist to any ally. This is like one of those abilities you can target any other ally. You can quickly swap turn meter which is so it is a powerful ability even the uh banner rec recovery there is quite nice but um his his kit is so unique and uh like even a lot of people especially in proving grounds lately his lead is actually quite helpful a lot of people use his lead for that turn meter again and it's the same sense in when we verse uh like Jabba or uh, JML whatever team you want to use the turn meter gains in his team is so good and that's what makes a team nowadays is having turn meter or speed on your side and in this case turn meter is our engine for this team and it's one of the things you need nowadays for the meta and thrawn just happens to be one of those kits that isn't old enough to be like one sentence it's got it's got enough beef in it to actually mean something yeah all right yeah. um since that was your tide our tide character what uh yeah i guess what's your last character then well, that that was my last. I only picked three, so I I did I see Thrawn and Trench. So oh yeah, you we're... did. Okay, so it's my last yeah. one. Yeah, your your last. Okay, my last one is Tarful. 
I went with a light side option. I, yeah. I, I figured this one would come up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, Tarful is very unique, where he's kind of the opposite of Cheered and Bays, where we talked about in your video. Because Cheered and Bays, back in the day, used to be, you know, set both of them and any three others, and that was your team, and it would beat a good chunk of the meta. Now, yes, I know that's not the case now with Tarful and two Wookiees, but a lot of people I notice is they like to throw the suggested Wookiee team or a full team of Wookiees. So it'd be like Tarful, Zalbar, um, Vandor Chewy, Vet Chewy, and Clone Wars Chewy. A lot of Chewies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the other non Gosh. Yeah, Chewies. But like and that's the thing is people do that just to throw it on the defense back wall and then they get beat easily. Yes, I do it too from time to time. I'll throw it 5v5 back wall, but I don't, I do it with Tarful, Vandor Chewy, um, Zalbar, Mission, and uh, Visa, or no, sorry, not Visa, um, Bear Safi, her Zeta lead. Because in Vandor, or er, Tarful's lead, he grants defense and health. And did doubles for Wookiees, but like 20%, you know, health, and then you get more health with Barris's unique, where if they're critically hit, they're gonna recover. So yeah, it's I feel like it's 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 a great under underrated character, and it's gonna get better. He's gonna get better once we get more Wookiees. So if they decide so next year is Revenge of the Sith, um 20th anniversary. However, it's also Kotor 2. That's going to be a good year. Kotor 2's yeah. 20th anniversary as well. There's a Wookiee that could come in from there being, um, oh, of course, I go blank as I'm trying to say, Hanhar. Hanhar, the uh. rival to Mara. You'd have to look it up so you can see who I'm talking about. Yeah, I'd have I'll to. Post a yeah. picture, uh, of course. But like Hanhar is like some dark side Wookiee. And this is a, the Wookiees are a light side, dark side team, kind of like scoundrel smugglers, bounty hunters, etc. And if they brought that character in, I'm sure, yes, he'll probably plug and play with bounty hunters too. He might even plug yeah. and play with Hut Cartel because he did work for some Huts. But he would also work with Wookiees and Tarful. However, you know, that's not the end of it. So, yes, this will be more of a long-term underrated character as that, you know, as time goes on, any other Wookiees added will make the team potentially better. But, you know, again, you can still plan things out and do some things with it. Like, I, I tend to always, because my guild's always facing the Omicron Phasma team. And you throw Jedi Master Luke against that, it'll fall flat. I've done that. Mm. I'm like, ouch, because Phasma gets the <laughs> yeah. speed boost and then the turn meter, and then it's like done. It's like, what the heck? So, but looking, but when I go and throw Wookiees, you mod them right with lots of de like the Wookiees, you would mod with a lot of defense. And yeah. I did actually, with it, I'll be showing it, like I did throw a decent amount of tenacity because his unique gives some more tenacity. But then you throw Barris in there, and it just, they can't kill the Wookiees. And you can even do this. I've done videos on my channel where you can face the Omicron Phasma team with uh, Gear 11 six-star Tarful. And half the time he does die quick, but the other guys carry it out. like. It. But I've also tend to use Wampa in that scenario to help throw like the days and stuff. So, you yeah. know. There's a lot of options you can plug and play in those two other slots. On it, um, mm. you, maybe you sub out uh, Vandor Chewy to go with Dash, where a lot of people like to throw them. I like to throw them with uh, Tarful, and you can run in OG Chewbacca with Han in there, and then you have Mission Zalbar. Yeah. You have two iconic duos under Tarful. You got the Wookiee synergy going. Um, lots of damage output. Uh, I don't know. I think mission would be the other one that would be guarded because you, Tarful could get pretty thick. I'm sure if I took him to Relic Nine, he'd be as thick as my Admiral Radis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's what it is for being a support. But yeah, there's just yeah. a lot of a lot of opportunities that this character has that you don't think of. There's times I'll throw Hondo in the Wookies because Hondo. Mm. 
if he does lose that, uh, a lot of times he will disappear if you um, kill off the uh, captive unit too soon. Mm. But Wookiees, they got to build up their damage. So they're not really going to kill that off. Mm. And I have thrown that on defense and tripped some people up back in the day. So yeah. <laughs> you can, so you're getting a fra- a mini fracture on a on a Wookie team with Barris keeping the team alive. You know, it's mm. I don't know, just tarp was, annoying. Yeah, like like a lot of people will say, Saw Gerrera is a fifth uh, out of all of the requirements. Um, but well, I got a child coming in. Go on out. I'm I'm not done yet. Go talk to You're me right, about it. She wants to. <laughs> I'll be done here soon. Just go on. You're right, man. <laughs> Anyways, um, apologize for that. <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> I, my, wife, my wife's downstairs. I don't know why she's asking me and not her. Anyways, um, where was I? Uh, but yeah, no, Tarful just has Honda, a lot. Of pot- yeah, yeah Tarful has a lot of potential with a lot of characters. Like, like I said, I've put, thrown Wampa in there in TW because Wampa doesn't have his Omicron active there. I've thrown Nest in there, you know? So there's a lot of opportunities. Like, if they ever bring in the, the Jedi Gunji, that Jedi Wookiee, as well as we mm, got a show yeah. coming up, we'll see how good it is. There's, a, I think, one or two Jedi Wookiees in there that they might bring out and be like, here you go. So lots of opportunities. Yeah, yeah, def, def, definitely, 100%. I, I like the fact how you used Mission with Zalbar there, their little synergy there. I think that's a great use of them, those two oh, characters. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, like, yeah. ever since I, I had Mission and Zalbar, I made sure the Zetas were on them just so they could do that assist because in some of the Malik and Revan events, like, I use Jolie, I'll call Zalbar into assist. Then Mission will assist Zalbar. So it's like yeah. that extra little bit of damage helps. <laughs> so yeah, a hundred percent. I like the fact she has a daze on her basic. I think that's what it is. Daze on basic. I think. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. I think it's a great combo. And, and I'm one of those people that would just take Tarful to Gear Twelve so I can get Cow Kestis. But yeah, um, definitely he's one. Of, he's one of those characters that uh, if you put the it's similar to to Trench where if you put the investment into them you can get them to work and do some pretty cool stuff, which um, one day I definitely will. Yeah. Uh, but I, there's a lot of us, included myself, who will just get them to gear 12 and oh, then yeah. uh, no, I get it. call it a day. But that, and that's why he's on our underrated list. Yeah, because uh, the two last uh, points, though, he was my first relic out of all of the Cal Kestis uh, members. Uh, really? Yeah, then I got Cal and Marin, and then finally Sierra, and then... Saw is just chilling at gear 12 still. <laughs> but, and yeah, then another yeah. final point is I, I, I will say I do not agree with what CG did with this kid. They, they decided to try to give vet smuggler Han and Chewie a little more synergy in Tarful's unique. However, I feel like they should have provided some of these buffs to also Mission and Zalbar, OG Han and Chewie. Those little sw- uh, slight tweaks would have probably made him even better and more fun. But I know they didn't want Chewbacca and Han be pulled from CLS. But it's like, so what? I want to kind of split up my CLS. Yeah. I've done it before. Yeah. I've done throwing CLS, just himself, throwing him with Sierra Junda in, in a spot so that I can yeah. go Han and Chewie with Dash and Dash. And then I threw uh, 3PO and 3PO and Chewie uh, under the Akbar. Uh, Akbar Omicron lead with Omicron Leia and Stormtrooper on. I've mm-hmm. done that. And that's tripped people up. So it's all about creating unique dif- defenses to try to trip your opponents up. And that's why yeah. I wish they kind of actually added those little tidbits in there to kind of give you some more options to test around. He wouldn't be so yeah, underrated. 100%. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, all right. Well, so, did you do we want to just quickly smash out our last three yeah. in the next fifteen minutes? Yeah. And yeah, uh, let's we'll, go ahead and get that because I got I I gotta go take care of a child and food because she doesn't yeah. want her mom to make it for some reason. Yep. Uh, anyway, cool so, so 
I'm going to talk about three characters, or now we're going to be talking about three characters each that we would like to see added to the game. Um, so do you want to start this one? Since I talked about the last characters, I'll let you start your first uh, character you want to see. Sure. Uh, this character might be on your list as well, so it might save us some time, but um, it's got to be Crosshair. Ooh, nope, he's not. <laughs> Granted, oh, you well, don't? Okay, he's on like the top probably 20. Yeah. And I oh, would, wow, that's a big list. <laughs> like if yeah. I did a top 20 or so list of characters, but like I will agree, I will say this though with Crosshair, I do agree I would like to see him in there, but I'd like to see both versions. The Bad mm. Batch version to help mess around with the Bad Batch strategies to maybe get Bad Batch to counter some more unique teams. But also yeah. the Imperial Trooper version. He yeah. wouldn't have a lead, but he could be unique. He would um, he would plug and play in both Piet and or not Piet Veers and um, Iden's teams. So yeah, get to give us that Imperial Trooper version. Yeah. So I'm yeah gonna, yeah I'm going to take yours and double it pretty much. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. I I I think it's going to come. We just had Bad Batch season three. Uh, finish Finish. off and there's got there's no way they're not going to release a crosshair like he's he's such a uh he's one of the bad batch members like come on he's got to be released at some point but i i definitely think at sometime this year at the end of the year he's going to be one of those characters that are going to be released yeah definitely would he be conquest worthy Uh, maybe I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. Unless they decide um to unlock bad uh Imperial Crosshair, you gotta use some sort of I don't know if it'd be a journey. I don't know if I that's the thing is I don't know how they would work that. Maybe you unlock the bad batch version of Crosshair to as a, a marquee and then use those six characters to go after and then you unlock the bad batch version. I don't know. Some mini yeah. journey or legendary character. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? But that that's he was, I'm not he, gonna I won't talk yeah. Yeah, we don't want to talk too much spoilers, but I will say he was kind of the star of the show in season three. Yeah. But that yeah, that, yeah I'm not gonna go to it because who knows who's watched it and who's not. And yeah, yeah. I'm not right. yeah, yeah, I haven't had time on this video about that. No. No. Uh, All right, well, for my uh, first one? Yeah. Uh, my first one is <laughs> I have a lot of KOTOR theme. <laughs> if you haven't tell, I was a big fan of KOTOR era. Yeah. Kreia, the neutral, okay. and, and then this is, if they do this right, she could be probably one of the best non-droid plug-and-play units. Okay. Yeah. So I don't want to go too much to spoilers because I feel like you need to go play that game sometime. I know. If you wanted to. I know. Even though I know it's an older gameplay style, some play, players like it, some don't. I still enjoy it. But um, Treya, when you first meet her, you meet her as Kreia, as a neutral character. She's always talking about being in the balance. She's kind of saying, try to kind of be in the middle. Don't always help everyone, but don't always try to kill off everyone. So she kind of is that neutral type character where she hates on you if you do the nicest thing or the evilest thing, depending on your path. Um, she also doesn't like droids, even though they can be helpful. She also she also has a lot of um, talk about like she wants you to do things um, on your own. She doesn't want you mm-hmm. always getting reliance on other people because it kind of weakens you versus it would strengthen you to conquer and become better at something. And then she also talks mm-hmm. about like talents and stuff. Like you want, if you have like your, th- take your top three best talents and your bottom three worst talents, try to work on those three worst talents to kind of bring them up. So they're not your skills and talents or whatever, which kind of is apparent in game. So like, if you had like, um, uh, I can't even think a repair like there, there, there's a repair ability in the game. If that was your weakest one, they just, she'd say, try to work on it. So it's, so you don't have to rely on someone else. You can rely on yourself mm-hmm. to repair mm-hmm. what you need to repair. So yeah. but with Kreia in game, I can see them make it a neutral character. Maybe they could yeah. have it synergize. This, this should be a fix with light and dark. And I do want to do some, I think I've done a bit, I've done some talk on neutral characters in the past, but Make it to where they synergize more with who's in the lead, 
light or dark and stuff like that. But she would definitely be online force user. She would be more focused on just trying to help you and plus, um, but also teach you to help yourself. I can also see her having the Kraya or the Treya lead in her unique. So she'd be like a plug and play. Uh, mm. I don't know if they would have it stack or not. It'd be kind of interesting if they did, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Like yeah. they, I'm sure there's a lot that they could do, but she, like I said, she hates droids. So she would not, she would not work with droids one bit. You throw in there, she nerfs the droids or something, or yeah. she does nothing to the droids. But mm. Kraya, and you could say the same against the enemy team. If they have droids, yeah, maybe. I don't know if that'd be too much for the kit, but mm. she wouldn't really hate out on against droids, but she hated she mostly hated out on you using droids to cuz she always hated right. talk, or she would always talk down to uh T3M4 uh when he's trying to do say something. She's like, "Why uh. trash can go away? We don't need to talk to you." <laughs> so, but I'm okay, sure yeah, cool. Coder players would understand kind of where I'm going with her, so they could have mm. some unique. Just make her such a unique plug and play, and I feel like she should be like a journey level, not a conquest level, maybe a conquest level, but a, a journey level character or epic confrontation level character, where yeah. maybe you need some various coder one and coder two characters because she was also. I don't know if you know this. She is a Darth Revan or Jedi at the time, Jedi Revan's apprentice because she's an exile to Jedi, exile to Sith. Mm. Kind of why she's neutral. Mm. So, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of That's Star Wars a... to catch up on. Yeah, I know, I know. I uh, I've pretty much missed most of Swotor, all of that uh, Old Republic. That most of the Old Republic stuff I know is. Uh, a little bit of Revan's story, a little bit of Malgus's story, and a lot of uh, Darth Bane's history, but there's not really a much around uh, that I know about, like, uh, tr the Sith Triumph for it. And most of, uh, like, Revan's light side journey, I don't really know too much about. Um, yeah. yeah, those Swotor games. But, yeah, it's definitely on the list of uh, things to do. It's just uh, t time is everyone's greatest enemy, and uh, finding it is the hardest thing. Yep, that's true. <laughs> so, um, uh, go ahead for number two for you. All right, let, let, let's see if you can guess what this is. Ooh, ooh. I'm, gonna, right. I'm gonna see I'm gonna... If it's an imperial. Yeah. All right, all right. I, I'll, I'll give you like a, something he uh, says. It's in the uh, Clone Wars. Yeah. All right, so one of he said he says this before he before he dies. Only the strongest shall rule Mandalore. Can you guess who oh, it is? Oh, yeah, Pre Vizsla. Okay. Yep, that's okay. it. Pre Vizsla. Now, I, this kind of links into a video, again, I've done recently, the Mandalorian faction uh, having such uh, limited uh, uses. I really think um, Pre Vizsla or Death Watch, something like that, Coming into the game would be such an awesome faction, or even just to go with uh, Dark Side Mandalorians to fill out that mall team. Get rid of Django, get rid of Candorus, um, and just have, you know, maybe you put your Super Commandos in there, but pre Vizsla uh, and your Death Watch characters, I think, would be such an awesome faction to put in the game. Yeah. What do you reckon? Oh, that's actually good. Like, I'm surprised they haven't even done it yet. Like, we've had a lot yep. of Clone Wars content over the years. Like, I'm sure they can add a lot. Like, even even adding, like, uh, the Season 7 Clone Wars Gar Saxon with his spike yeah. helmet would definitely help. There's a lot of Mandalorians that, like, I'll put it this way. Faction-wise, if I chose a faction going into the Star Wars universe, I would pick Mandalorians first. Yeah. Far by not. It's just in this game, unfortunately, they've been kind of kicked to the wayside, which is why I've been mm. favoring Empire and Sith a lot. But mm. it doesn't mean I don't like the Mandalorians. The Mandalorians a big fan of. But there are certain. Well, hence your certain, profile. Hence your profile. Yeah. Uh, but no, it's <laughs> it, still like Sith, Jedi. I have still my favorites in other factions and areas of the, yeah, yeah. the franchise. But Mandalorians, like, there's a lot. Like, um, if I remember right, let me sneak peek real quick. If I remember, no, okay, it was on my list, but I actually took it off. But it's mm. still an option. Um, 
is Candorous. So Coder 2 does have Candorous, but he's Mandalore the Preserver. Oh, okay. Yeah, a journey character for that to build into a journey for um, the Jedi exile and so on. But like, mm. yeah, Candorous, there was also some various different Mandalorians, which we already have the outfits in game. Uh, where you fight, yeah. you fight them. They did it for the marquee events plus the uh, Revan and Malak event, or no, the Revan events where you have to fight mm. some various Mandalorians. Um, so they have the outfits and looks for them, but mm. you know, again, there's a bunch of other Mandalorians that could just come into the game to, and not just dark side ones. There's also various other light side ones too, like mm. when we got introduced in the Mando show with Bo Katan, she had two other allies. Axe Wolves and something else. I can't remember her name. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I can't either. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Why aren't they in there to help boost? Uh, now now that we have Bo-Katan Mandalore, maybe we will see those two show up in the near future when it's time to boost that faction up. When it's like, mm-hmm. okay, we need to boost this up. We'll just bring these two in and give you some more other Mandalorian leads. But it, it depends yeah. on how things go with CG, Disney, and all that fun yeah stuff. De- def- definitely but yeah I-, I i think death watch and pre is is just one of those one of those factions in the star wars universe that definitely should be in a game like this and it, it will definitely help out a- with a lot of the teams in the game at the moment like maul if you want i desperately wants more dark side mandalorians i think pre death watch is the way to go with it yeah all right ready for number two for me Yep. Okay. I'll, I'll just let you got? guess. I'll, I'll let you guess which faction. Which weirdly okay. enough, I talked about this character today. I don't remember. Okay. I think it was um, before. I think it was before we started recording. Uh, okay. Um. Oh, there's so many. There's so many. Um. All right. I'm gonna go. Is it a dark side? Dark side related. Yeah. Dark side. Okay. Dark. I, I, I'm gonna go with Sith. Yep. Okay. It is the version of, or it is the, I talked about him earlier, episode one version of Lord Sidious. I would like ah. to see, yes. And what's interesting is there's a unique way to unlock him, but I'll get to that in a minute. Um, actually, there's a unique way to unlock my third pick, too. Uh, but Lord <laughs> Sidious is, I feel like, like you don't see much of him in episode one, other than he's just sitting there, he's talking, instructing from the shadows, kind of like what he's supposed to be doing. Mm. Even though he's also, you know, in front front and center as Senator Palpatine, but uh, uh, if people didn't know that already. Uh, mm. But Lord yeah. Sidious, Spoiler. he has a kind of cool, unique, cl- well, it's a cool, unique look, but he also, his relic piece would be that little walking hologram thing. But yeah. Lord Sidious could be these plug and play. Another plug and play character I would like to see. Uh, it'd be the Hermit Yoda version for Sith. Hmm. So I'm, I'm thinking, yes, it would still have some healing, maybe grants retribution, kind of like Sith Eternal does. But like all this healing and recovery, and then maybe grant a buff around. I don't know what they would call it. It'd be kind of yeah, like uh, they'd make a new reverse. buff. Yeah. yeah. Sith reverse of um, Master's training from Hermit Yoda. Yeah. But yeah, it'd be a character that would disappear if no other combats allow. Because if it would make sense, like he doesn't have anyone fighting for him, he's going to disappear. He ain't going to stick around. Mm. He's gone. Yeah. So it actually, lore wise, it makes sense. And, mm. you know, they can do some unique buffs, like, or stats for the buff, like, you know, I was telling you about earlier, crit damage, crit avoidance, health steal, mm. and accuracy. Some Sith-related, where the Jedi get the offense, defense, tenacity, potency. So, you know, they could, yeah. be, they could be equals, where Sith Eternal, or I mean, Lord, um, Lord Sidious came first, he was in Shadows. And then he showed up and he did what he did in the prequels. And then Yoda became an exile and went into the shadows pretty much. So they kind of, yeah, they came in places. Yoda. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. So yeah. to me, I don't know. That just makes sense for them to pull that mm. off. Yeah, no, that's a good, that's a good point. I, I wouldn't, I don't really know what kind of team he would then fit into as. Um, uh, from... Lord Sidious, probably a mall, a mall. Yeah. If Darth Maul ever gets a rework, I would, I would put him something with that. 
Well, he could probably just be a plug and play for all Sith. Kind of like yeah, Hermit true. Yoda's technic aside from the Galactic Republic Jedi, um, he's technically a plug and play for Jedi Revan, Jedi Cal, uh, Jedi Master Luke. You can even use I even him, use him with Jedi Knight Luke. Yeah. And you can even use him just outside of him. Like you can pair him with H- Hondo or you know, whatever team you want. But this would give yeah. another dark side variant, another variant equal to him. Um, but you know, spreading these, you know, buffs around and just mm. picking his choices. <laughs> just, I don't know. This, yeah, yeah, this is something I uh, something I thought of, and it's like it'd be cool to see uh, that kind of character. Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. I think that's a good idea. There's not many. I don't think there is any uh, passive Sith uh, at all in the Sith faction at the moment. It'd be definitely nope. cool to see something like like that enter the game 100 percent. yeah it, it'd be very similar to hermit yoda's kid literally like they don't even have yeah. to add an omicron just add the zetas that's it if they're gonna add omicron to him they gotta add one to hermit yoda just to kind of keep them in balance they rhyme kind of yeah. you know <laughs> this is the kind of rhyme in a way yeah yeah master of the Sith, oh, yeah out the master of the jedi yeah <laughs> so i agree 100 percent uh, all right, so what's your last one? All right, um, I will just I'll change I'll stream it to you. Um, I'll share my screen just so you can see, just in case you don't know the character. Um, it's Captain Gregor from the Clone Wars. Do you know who that is? Captain Gregor? You mean the so, commando? This one here. Let me. I don't know if it's gonna mess up with my recording. Oh, true. Sorry. I'm oh, sorry about that. But um. Anyway, yeah, he not, was in. Not let me. Yeah, select it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. right. Uh, it's right. You can look it up later. But for those um. Maybe rewatching this, but uh, there was a few episodes. I can't remember what season it was. I want to say season five or six. There was a few episodes of when uh. Ca- uh Captain uh, what's his name? Co- Colonel. Uh, Gaskin, he's like a little toad-looking thing. Yep. And Gasker, he hopped into Gaskin Mieber or something like that. Yeah. Mieber Gaskin, whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he jumps into the uh, Astromex heads and commands them. And then they meet this uh, clone commando on this uh, planet, and he's forgotten who he is. Oh. And uh, then, then they have he has his final stand. Uh, well, supposedly his final stand to get them off planet. And he ba- he's battling all those battle droids, and he uh, sacrifices himself, supposedly. But I believe he comes back in uh, Rebels. I can't quite remember. Yes, Rebels. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, I would like... I know this is probably not going to happen, and it won't happen for a long time, because it's such a, a sp- specific part of the Clone Wars. But this these few episodes were really awesome to me. I... I they're one of my favorite parts of the Clone Wars, besides uh, the uh, Force Gods e- episodes where they had the son, the daughter, and the father. Uh, but this is one of those characters that I would like to have as uh, you'd have Colonel Gaskin as your leader. You'd have a bunch of Astromechs and maybe um, that the uh, pod racing droid that was there. Um, and oh, yeah, um, the you'd pit have droid. yeah, 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 the pit droid, and you'd have Captain Gregor on the team as well. And I think it'd just make a really cool faction. Like, I don't know what you'd name, you just that put would... it under Galactic Republic. Yeah. So what's interesting, though, is I actually did, like, years ago, um, some of my early videos, I actually posted a couple of them talking about, it's called the D-Squad is what they were called. Um, and uh, I put yeah. R2-D2 on there. And they could yep. either keep the current R2-D2 to fit, you know, kind of fit in, or they can make a new version with, because that R2-D2 had little caution tapes on the side of him or something on the side mm-hmm. of his legs mm-hmm. um, yeah. because he was up temporarily upgraded uh, with extra yeah. uh, powerful rocket boosters or something. But anyways, yeah, um, I did video talking about it. Like they can actually do some sort of like legendary event where you need the D squad to unlock Gregor. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, and then afterwards you can, you'd have another clone that would work with various different clone teams, or if they decide to play it smart, a, either before or after that event, they can bring out a event to unlock Delta Squad, 
and then you can have mm. a five man del- uh, clone commando team Ooh. because most clone commandos are four squads and four men anyways yeah. just make it a five person squad and boom you got yourself Stop tasing me <laughs> <laughs> see I already had that one planned out like a long time yeah. ago That's, if I was in CG yeah, that no, I, um, yeah there you go yeah. So I, I Delta Squad is a I don't know if you used to play Republic Commando. Oh, well, yeah. I, there's probably some people out there who used to play Republic Commando, and that was one of my favorite ge- games. Um, I don't know. It, it re- reminds me of uh, modern day Halo, but um, it's I love the idea of being able to switch between your characters and oh, it, it command your own squad. I thought it was such a co- cool game, but yeah, definitely super. What do you what do you call them? Clone Commandos. They're such a such an awesome suit of armor, and we recently saw a few of them in um, Bad Batch season three. Mm-hmm. Um, Some of them not treated as well as others. Um, yeah, yeah, but yeah, right. yeah. No spoilers, no spoilers. But um, anyway, <laughs> but yeah, that's my final. That's my final team or p- character I want to come into is Captain Greg. I think he's such a cool character. Yeah. Oh no, definitely, definitely. He he would boost up clone teams. It would have that little D squad team. And I think there was enough droids to make a five man team. If not, it would probably also pair in some other light side droids. So you can get away with that and then go from there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Then, 100%. Yeah. So, but uh, let's finish this out so we can get done with the recording. The last one on my yep. list. Is I wonder if you, I don't know if you would be able to guess this. Probably not. <laughs> is it Swatel? <laughs> no. Well, it's actually movie based. I just, I just oh okay. I just realized I lost your face. I gotta. Oh, you're right. There we go. Oh, now your face is back. Okay. Put it right under. There we go. Oh, it doesn't stay. Anyways, um, and I lost your face again. Whatever. I'm just gonna leave it. It's uh, all good. It's all good. It's all well, good. Um, yeah, it's from episode two. Okay. It would Thinking. be for C C G would do it, Dark Side. Wouldn't be Dark Side, technically. Mm. Something we well, need too- more of in the game. Is it something to do with Camino? Nope. No? Okay. Hmm. Uh, I, I don't know, know that I don't want to give any more hints. Yeah, I know. It's is it part of the Geonosian battle at the end? Yes. Okay. Um, is it a separatist unit? Um, no, it wouldn't be considered separatist. <laughs> okay. I think I've kind of weeded Ooh. it down now. Oh man, man, I'm so lost. I'm, I'm thinking for so many characters right now. Uh, and you're oh man, true characters. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. It's the Neeks. Yep. The cat-like creature, actually, oh. or just any uh, yeah. any of the three of the creatures. Like that's the thing is, we need more creatures in the game. Creatures of Star Star Wars creatures. There's like spider creatures. There's like cat dog-like creatures. Embo has a pet. Mm. I'm almost done. I said so that's it. Sorry, go on. Sorry, kid. Kim. You're I know. Right. Mommy's down there. Go talk to her. <laughs> I'll, I'm almost done. Literally, well, we're we're last like topic. five minutes. Right, five <laughs> Anyways, minutes. Um, I guess you'll just have to listen, but quietly. Anyways, yeah, there's a lot of creatures, <laughs> like so many different creatures that can join the game. That CG's only just given us Wampa. Yeah, and yeah, it's like why? <laughs> why? I know. At least like, I already. They already have the character models, so it's it shouldn't yeah, be I too know. hard. That's the to other do. thing is baffling is like they have some of these character models. Like even in Bad Batch, they have a character that could come in and be Hook Cartel, would be that um little young Rancor that the mm, Bad Batch has yeah. to help out. See? Lots of opportunities. Hey, stop messing with stuff. <sighs> Timing of <laughs> You're right, man. <laughs> but yeah, again, well, like I said, there's a lot of different creatures, but like Niksu is definitely one. One that's one of the ones I predicted when the light side, dark side GOTBs came out. I was thinking that was going to be one of them. Then they brought the capital mm-hmm. ships in. And I was like, okay, well, yeah, <sighs> there goes my my plan yeah. on it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, other, other, that's a good take. I didn't even think about creatures or like vehicles. I know there's another common topic a lot of people like to talk about. But uh, yeah. yeah, that's uh. 
Yeah, n- next to your next whatever you call it. Um, that's a good that's a good idea. Definitely creatures didn't even cross my mind on it. So yeah. I've done some yeah, videos definitely. on it before, but I might I may revisit the topic later in the year about mm. getting some more creatures in. Mm, mm, like definitely. I don't think well, we have a lot of episode one creatures other than maybe a, a Tuscan dog or something. But like next year, uh mm. code or two, I think there's like you can get a storm beast or something. Mm. Um right before you face trans stop messing. Ah. Now she's in here making noises. As per usual, you're right. So, but yeah, you're right. That's that's basically it. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a good good take. We uh, it looks like we talk about the same time as we did on my video, so that that's that's fine though. Um, we we might just shorten the topics for our next our next one, so we don't take yeah. as long. But um, uh, yeah. I hope I hope everyone did enjoy uh the the series that we're trying to start anyway, because we'll. we'll, we'll I'll have to let you go, Anditesh, because it sounds like you're uh, getting yep, you're wanted, so. and yeah. uh, I, I I'm about to get ready to leave for my drive, so I'll, I'll I'll be away for a bit now, but um, we'll be back in about a week's time. Of but course, uh, otherwise, this whole recording will be edited and uploaded after you get yeah. back. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. After well, I get back, thank you guys. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to check out Lord Bane's channel. Definitely do so. I'll have it in the description below. I'll even have a little card pop up. Um, but aside from that, let me know what you guys' thoughts are on underrated characters and characters you'd like to see come to the game. Aside from that, thank you for your watching. Cool. You guys have a phenomenal day. I'll let you say see goodbye, you too. <laughs> yep. Yep. I'll see you all next time, mate. Eh? <laughs> yep.